And now two plans for a controversial outdoor amphitheater now on hold. And it's all because of a major vote at City Hall today. City Council siding with those who were against the 12,000 seat amphitheater set to be built on the west side of Oklahoma City. News Force Hunter Elise tells us what's next for opponents and the supporters of the project. Hunter. After the votes came down, the room was filled with joy from families opposed to the amphitheater project, which now leaves the future of the outdoor music venue up in the air. I'm going to make a motion to deny this application. A move dozens like James King were hoping for at Tuesday's city council meeting. It's great. I think it's a huge success for us. 29 different neighborhoods have come together uh, in opposition to this. The proposed outdoor event center would seat 12,000 people. The big concern with the location being near Southwest 15th and Sarah Road was how loud it might be for nearby neighborhoods, especially for veterans who have war related PTSD. Is just not an option for us. It would definitely put us out of our home. We would have to move. They have to up the volume to uh, help with that sound and the, uh, to give their patrons a good experience. So there are no walls or ceiling for that sound to be contained in. While there are many who are opposed to building this. As of Friday's cutoff, there were 280 contacts in protest. Some believe it would be a good addition to the West Metro. But I'm in support. I respect any decision that's made. I appreciate it. I know how much you've been through with all the time. But in the end, the approval didn't come. Motion carries seven to two. The application is denied. <laughs> Leaving opponents excited. <laughs> As for whether or not Tuesday's vote is the sun setting on Sunset Amphitheater, developers remain cautiously optimistic. They are fully committed to, to being in Oklahoma City. Um, had hoped that it was going to be this site didn't work out, and so we look forward to aggressively finding the next site. Initially, the plan was to break ground on the amphitheater this year, and it would open in 2025. We'll keep you updated on what's next.